All right, I'm going to do this one. I got to fork it first. Here we go. Write code using a for each loop to find the max, min, and average of the values in nums. So nums is up here. You're not allowed to change that. And don't look, don't just tell me what the answers are. I want you to do that stuff. So that stuff is um, int max equals best uh, practices is to do that. Int min equals. Um, I see I spelled the first variable wrong. It's nums. So you're just setting the max and min to the first item because it may be the max and it may not be the max, but you know that you're going to go through the whole thing. And so you're going to find the max. So this is a, a, you can't like put zero in there because what if all the numbers were negative and then all of a sudden zero would be the max. So, um, and total we're going to set to zero. And now um, I asked you to use a for each loop. So for int n nums and we need curly brackets and we say if n greater than max then we found a new max and if n less than min then we found a new min and whether or not those things happen total plus equals n we add uh, the current value to total and then right here, um, I asked you to print the max and min and the average system.out.println max plus max. And sure, I'm lazy. Um, copy whenever I can. My own code, that is. Uh, average, here we have to put parentheses because we're going to do a calculation, 1.0 times total divided by nums.length. So there's no parentheses on the length here because it's a property, it's not a method. Okay, so let's run it, make sure that works. We can go on to the next problem. A max, min, average. Yep, yeah, so far so good. Write code using a for each loop to find the longest string and print the longest string. So, and the, it's called best animals. So I'm going to copy that. And so right here, we'd say for string t best animals. Okay, but before the loop, I just remembered we have to... um string longest equals best animal score bracket zero. So we're just again going to set it to the first one. And then um, now I'm going to say if t dot length greater than longest dot length. Notice I'm using the parentheses after those things. Um, then longest equals t. And now right here system dot out dot print line longest animal plus longest. So notice this code would work even if I changed what's in the list. That's the whole idea of doing things like this. If the longest animal was a lizard. Finally, write code using for each loop to find the frog that jumped the farthest in the array, my frogs. Print that location and then print that frog. Use the get location method to figure out how far. And the frog frog classes down here, a compressed version of the frog class. Okay, so uh, um, I'm going to make uh, a frog that hasn't hopped at all. And this is going to be how I keep track of the longest. Um, so uh, now we're going to do uh, for frog f in my frogs. And if f dot get location greater than junior, 
get location, then um, junior equals f. I'm just replacing junior with the one that jumps the farthest. Okay, and system.out.println. Let's see what I wanted uh, farthest. I want the number and then print the front. Farthest front. This is junior.getLocation. I didn't mean to hit whatever that was. And then system.out.println. Junior. So let's do it. And it should be... Uh, 30, I guess is, I think I'm not, yeah. So the frog, the frog of 30, and here's the frog, the jump 30. All right, there you go.